the interior of some conference room with many benches and chairs. A woman, approximately 35 to 40 years old, dark long hair, wearing a black jacket, leopard shirt and black feet. Leather or imitation leather pumps on low heels on bare feet. The recording is dominated by the position of the leg folded over the leg. Sometimes a woman partially slides her shoes off her heel. An almost invisible solar cell has been constructed. Researchers at Tohoku University in Japan have constructed a transparent solar cell. The transparency of the cell is close to 80%, and may soon be used on a large scale. Transparent solar cells, TSCs, have recently attracted considerable attention because they can overcome the limitations of traditional, opaque solar cells. The Tohoku researchers explain in a paper describing the research published in Nature Scientific Reports. There have been a few rumors lately about the impending breakthrough in the field of nuclear fusion. But the truth is that we still have a long way to go before this form of energy harvesting will be more efficient. Before that happens, it's worth looking towards the sun. Located at the center of our solar system, a giant ball of flaming gas sends 173,000 terawatts of energy our way. That's more than 10,000 times the world's total energy consumption. No wonder scientists and designers spend so much time trying to exploit it. However, there are many limiting factors. Solar panels are typically large, opaque and often unsightly. Now, a team at Tohoku University has developed an, almost invisible, solar cell, dubbed NISC. It passes almost 80% likes. Theoretically, they could be placed anywhere. From windows in your home to your smartphone screen, and even on your skin. We successfully developed the NISC using Eto, indium tin oxide. One of the most widely used transparent conductive oxides, and single layer tungsten disulfide, as transparent electrodes and the photoactive layer, the researchers write. Using these materials, the team has made a solar cell that beats other transparent cells by several orders of magnitude. The way we formed the solar cell resulted in a power conversion efficiency more than 1,000 times greater than that of a device using a regular ITO electrode, explained Professor. Toshiaki Kato of Tohoku University's Graduate School of Engineering and co-author of the paper. Now scientists are working on increasing power conversion and using their cell in solar panels. It is not so simple, because it is not enough to simply increase the size of the cell. Calculate carefully what shape and size will yield the right performance. The findings may contribute to the development of TMD-based NISCs and their industrial production, the study authors conclude. Research suggests that women can identify single men by smell. Single men tend to have higher testosterone levels than those in relationships. But can this fact change the smell of a bachelor? Experiments with women suggest so. Researchers have found in tests that the smell of single men is stronger for women than the natural smell of married men. Which in turn suggests that women are able to smell which men are taken and which men are single. On the other hand, it can help single men signal their availability to women. Body odor can signal, for example, illness, but not only. Dogs with their excellent sense of smell can sense the disease. What about human smell? Based on previous research showing that single men have higher testosterone levels than their married counterparts, and that higher testosterone levels are associated with stronger body odor. Researchers at Macquarie University in Australia wanted to determine if single men's aroma is stronger for women. 
can women sense which suitors are available and which are taken. For the tests, scientists invited 91 men. Among them, 46 were single and the rest were in a relationship. They gave each of them a plain white t-shirt to wear all day. They were also advised to forego perfume that day and do moderate exercise to help the t-shirt absorb sweat for a stronger scent. The men also provided their photos. T-shirts prepared in this way were presented to 82 heterosexual women aged 18 to 35. They were asked to rate the smell of the t-shirt. They also had access to a photo of the owner of the sniff t-shirt. As with the male group, half of the females were single and the rest in relationships. Each woman had the pleasure of smelling six different clothes. When looking at pictures of men, participants rated them on attractiveness, sex appeal, intelligence, loyalty, kindness, credibility, masculinity, and whether they looked like a good partner. According to our hypothesis, the body odor of single men was rated as stronger, more intense than that of men in relationships, the authors of the study wrote in the publication. Those in relationships rated the faces of singles as more masculine. In turn, the more pleasant a man's fragrance seemed to women, the more often they assessed the appearance of its owner as favorable. From an evolutionary perspective, it may be beneficial for women to detect chemical cues that are associated with a relationship and ultimately avoid male advances in relationships, especially those with children. Due to the relatively limited resources they can offer, the study authors suggested. Dot. However, strong body odor does not necessarily increase a man's chances of finding a mate. As single men's scents were not rated as sexier or more attractive than those of men in relationships. Interestingly, women described the faces of men in relationships as more trustworthy and loyal than those of single men, although single women did not perceive these characteristics in either group. But there is another explanation, much less appealing. Researchers have suggested that men in relationships have better health and hygiene than single men. Evidence for this claim comes from studies showing that single men have worse physical and mental health outcomes than those in relationships, which may manifest as poorer hygiene and thus body odor, the authors pointed out. Certain diseases can also affect body odor. Diet can also alter this aroma to some extent. Smell is perhaps the most scientifically overlooked human sense, yet our sexual and social behaviors seem to be closely related to it. Perhaps this state of affairs is influenced by the fact that we are not fully aware of how the smell affects us. Therefore, more research is needed in larger cohorts to elucidate some of the secrets of our sense of smell.